Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is how to install and use templates. Now, uh, we're going to dive right in, but keep in mind, this, uh, the templates replaced the old looks, but if you had an entire collection of looks, you can still use them with Luminar AI, and this is this episode will show you how you can install them. Now, if you purchase them from our website, make sure you go back to the website because a lot of them have been converted over to AI. Just re-download those and follow the instructions on how to install them. All right, so let's get started. All right, let me turn on the comments here. And please, if you have questions, um, try to answer them before the end of the show, and I'll try to answer them, or I'll try to answer them before, so ask the questions ahead of time, and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. If you don't get it done in time, I'll go back afterwards, and I'll look at some of the questions and try to answer them. All right? So, here we go. Now, here are where the templates are stored inside the Luminar. You have your favorites, purchases, my templates, which I only have a couple right now. And then of course, when I installed um, Luminar AI, the new version, 1.01, .01, it went to my hard drive, drive, found all of my old um, legacy templates that I created, or looks, and brought them in. So I have those here. We're gonna work with the purchasing one, all right? So. What I'm going to do is this. I'll come down, and I'm going to fire up Internet Explorer. And then we're going to go to Skylum.com. And then from here to the Marketplace. Now, before I go to the Marketplace, let me do this. If you're a membership, or if you have a membership to Luminar X, which I do, I'm gonna come over here. Now I can download any one of these free looks or templates, all right? So that's where I'm gonna get mine from. If you don't have the membership there, then under Explore is you'll come down here to the Marketplace, and in the Marketplace is where you can look, you could um, come under Looks, and it'll tell you if it's compatible with Luminar AI, or if it was designed for Luminar 4. And then if you have a membership, which is really cool, it'll actually tell you, hey, this is included in your membership so you don't have to repurchase a new one, all right? So I'm gonna come back to my membership. So here I am. Let's download, you know what? I'm really getting into a lot of black and white. So let's download the black and white template. <laughs> Hello, Pat. Welcome. <laughs> All right. So now that I have it here, this is where it gets a little tricky. So, and again, I'm on a Windows machine, but we have the, the file comes in as a zip format, compressed. So I'm going to open it. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come over and notice it's zip. So under downloads, it's right here. Now, I did download it before. I'll take that one. Right click, and I wanna, I'm gonna cut it from there so it no longer appears in my downloads. Now again, this next section is just my personal preference. You could do it the way you feel more comfortable. I like leaving all of my assets in my photography folder. So here's assets, and what I mean by that is I have overlays, looks, LUTs, skies, templates, textures. Um, so I'm gonna double click on template, Right click, and I'm gonna paste that zip file. Now, this is where I got a little confused when I first downloaded it. If I try to install the template here, it's in the compressed folder so it didn't see it. So what I need to do is extract it. Right click, extract all. And I'll leave it in the same directory. So now it, it, it extracted it, I'm gonna delete that zip file because I don't need it anymore. 
Now, here's the second part. When I double click on it, now Windows users, don't worry about this Mac, under, underscore Mac. Um, that's just a compatibility thing. We don't need that. Here it is again, now watch this. When I double click, I noticed more zip files. So we have to extract those in order for it to um, appear. So I'm gonna right click and extract all. And once I extract it, again, now I don't need it. I'll delete it. And here's Luminar AI, right click. Again, extract all. There we go. And then just delete this. Now we have our looks or our templates ready to install. But what I want to do, instead of going through templates, the template name, the template name again, and then finally onto the template, I'm going to select these two here. You, uh, Control A or Command A to select all, right click, and I'm going to cut it. Let's go back to here, right click, paste. Now I have them in one spot. This we don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete it. There. So let's look at our assets again. Under templates, we have the new template we just downloaded. I have it for AI, and I also have it for Luminar 4. If I double click, here it is. Now, good news for Mac users, just double click on the LTC and it automatically installs it for you. For Windows users, we have to use the program. It's, it's a Windows system thing. So I'm back in Luminar. I'm gonna come over to my, I'm gonna click on the Luminar menu. And then from here, File. And from File, Add Luminar AI Template Collection. Now, if it's gonna be real simple, I'll just navigate to my photography folder and all that work we did to organize this is going to pay off. Here's templates. There's one we just did. And we want the AI one. Click and open. Now it's installed. So let's see where it's installed. Well, I'm going to click on the, the star icon for my collection. And under purchases, there we have it. We found the templates here under purchases. All right, let's check some of them out. I'm gonna click on the first one. Let's see, you know what we'll do? I'm gonna back out of this. Adjustments, revert to original. Because for the black and white templates, ooh, yeah, look at this. Um, adjustment, revert to original. We come to edit. What I'm just doing is I'm doing real quick housekeeping. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Here's the original image, there we go. Now I'm come back to templates. Let's use this one as an example. Ooh, I like that. Here's Mystic Black. And again, you'll notice up in here, it's illuminating. And when it, when it does that, the, the Skylum Blue is transferring, it tells you it's working on it. Here, let's check out charcoal. And we'll do one more. Ooh, that's a nice soft one and basic. Now, keep in mind, just because we applied the template doesn't mean we can't add to it. So I can always come back to edit and let's make a change to it. And this is what I would recommend um, let's come to uh, toning. If I want to add a little color to this, let's do this. And actually, I want more of a bluish in the highlights. All right. So let's say this was something I like, which I actually do. I'll come back over here. Let me just add a little more detail. There. Now I have it where I like it. 
I can come down here and I want to save it as a new template. So now if I come back to templates and if I look under my template, let me just collapse that. Here it is. Let's rename it. So I like to keep the name black and white basic and then put version two. So now I know exactly where it came from. And now I just reused the template that somebody else created, made a few changes to it, and now I customized it and made it my own. All right? Now let's look at some. Good. Let's see. Nope. Uh, Pat, all of this is the same on Mac. So all of this is the same as on Mac. The only difference with Mac is you can actually double click on the Luminar LTC template and that'll actually install it for you. So it's a little bit easier. Um, let me pull up Kevin. Oh, wrong one. Kevin, I want to make my own templates that include a light leak. What's the best source for those? And would I include them as a texture overlay? Ooh, Kevin, that's a really good question. Now, with that, again, that's a, that's a totally separate topic. And I'm going to take that and we're going to use it for another um, seminar or for another coffee break. But in general, what you would do is come over here. Um, let's see, to templates. And I'm going to use the templates from the top. And let's look for light leaks. So we'll come down. Here we go, experimental. Good, Kevin. And I'm sure these are the light leaks you're talking about. So, okay, look, oh, I like that one. All right, let me hide myself. All right, so I like this one. So let's see what they did, Kevin. Um, we're going to come down, and you mentioned texture. So if I click on the local masking, notice there's a there's texture here. They supplied their own texture, and they applied it on top of this. That's what's giving us that light leak. So I can't take their texture without using this template and apply it to another one. But what I can do is save it as my own and now I can apply that light leak to others. I hope that answered your question on there. All right, now, um, good. So, okay, so Julie says, let me pull this down. She just checked, she has a lot of legacies. Where do they come from? You created them. So at some point, you created those those in Luminar 4, and now they carried over. You can always delete those. In fact, let me show you this real quick. So here we are with templates. Well, where are they stored? So if I come down to my template, if I click on the ellipsis um, tool here, I'm going to look, and I'm going to click on Show in Explorer. Now it shows me exactly where it is. So here's user, template. This will be slightly different for a Mac, but it's going to show you in Finder where it is. So if I double click on user, here's where my templates are. I'm going to back up just one more. Try it one more. There we are, roaming. Here's Luminar 4's templates, or looks. So here which I don't have any installed on this machine, or I'm sorry, in this folder, but actually I do. It's under data, I apologize. There it is, looks. And then user. So here's where all of my looks, or the ones, Julie, that you created, um, that's where you'll find them. If you don't want them anymore, just delete them from there, and then they'll delete inside Luminar. Now, with that being said, let me come back over here. If, and, and after a while, here's the purchase ones, you're gonna get quite a bit of these stacking up. So if you don't like one, if you look at one of these and think, you know what? Um, I say I like that. I like this. 
Um, I'm trying to find one. Well, you know what? Oh, I really, I'm going to make that one of my favorites. I really like that one. So let's go back to the top one, and I'll reinstall these after. Let's say I don't like this one. I can come up here and select Delete. And then I can remove it. And now it's a way of organizing my, my collections. But the really cool part about this is you already have or you still have it on your computer. So if you decide to change your mind afterwards, you can come back in and reinstall that particular um, set of templates. All right. Let's see. Kevin says it. Great. Well, guys, so there you have uh, working with templates. It's not as complicated as it seems. Um, the, the only part that is a little tricky is the unzipping of the, the zip files and putting it someplace to where you know exactly where they are. So a week from now, a year from now, two years from now, you don't act like Julie and say, I don't remember making those. Um, because if they're in your assets folder, you know you created those. So you know exactly where they are. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you at the next coffee break.